Going hot. Right, guys so I know I've mentioned it a few times uh, about my budget AR that I put together this is uh, aim sports um, kind of a cheap I think I paid like 49 bucks for it uh, little green dot and then I've got a UTG riser it's three quarter inch uh, riser uh, it's got a USA barrel one seven twist I used an APF lower uh, it's called all Anderson guts inside including the trigger. Um, it's got upgraded spring. Uh, it's got a Magpul um, adjustable stock on the rear, Magpul handle, Magpul forward. So still running the A2 on the front. And then of course I dressed it up with some, uh, I don't know what this is called, the color. I just call it root beer because I thought it looked really cool and I like root beer. So I decided to put one together. Um, I got about $570 in this total, including the sling, and I wanted to put something together that was kind of cheap and see if I could make it run right and just, you know, play around and experiment a little bit. I'm going to put another 20 rounds through it. So far, so good. It hasn't given me any hiccups this time. As you guys saw previously, <laughs> it jammed on me a couple of times, and I think I narrowed it down, and I'm pretty sure it was a combination between the ammo I was using, and um, I, th I think uh, the headspace might have been a little off. So other than that, um, yeah, it's just a good, solid little gun, and uh, let's put some rounds through it and try it again. Once again, I'm running 55 grain PPU. Going hot. Another 20 rounds. No problems whatsoever. So I think she's gonna be uh she's gonna be a keeper. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'll build another one. Um, you know, like they say, AR, Armor Light Rifle, I call it America's Rifle. Uh, I think it's probably one of the most versatile systems you can use. Super easy to use, no recoil. Um, anybody can pick it up and learn real quick. And uh, it's just a great, great rifle. Good for hunting small game, things like that. I know some guys go out and they hunt deer with it. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's nothing real special. It's not like it's a, you know, $3,000 AR. But like I tell everybody, you know, you don't have to have a ton of money to go out and enjoy yourself. You could put something like this together and you don't have to buy the fancy stock and the fancy grip and you don't have to do this. You could put some sights on it for cheaper and, uh, you know, for around 400 and some change, you could have yourself a nice little AR that's Fun for planking, fun for sporting, fun for hunting, whatever you want to do with it. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to fill you in a little bit. So my challenge to myself was to see if I could build the cheapest AR possible. And then I kind of failed because I got a little crazy with some stuff. But uh, as far as the guts of the gun, I think I won. And now that she's running good, hopefully we can get a few years of service out of it, huh? What do you think, Larry? You like it? I like it. I'll take it. You shot it. You like it? So Nice, nice shooting gun. Yeah, and the, the great thing about it is the zero recoil, right? I mean, this thing's like shooting a 22 caliber. It's just, it's they're just so much fun to shoot. Um, and, and it puts a smile on your face. It really does. <laughs> I mean, anything about an AR, an AK, any of those, they're, they all put a smile on your face. They're just, they're just fun to use and, 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 uh, 
they're great for challenging yourself too. You know, you could build one with a 20 inch barrel and put an actual scope on it and try to see how far you can reach out. I mean, uh, they're the, the basically they're like Harley Davidson's, right? They're literally the Harley Davidson. Like you can, you can build it and make it whatever you want. Anything doesn't matter. Color, spec, pieces, parts, you know, just like a 1911, you can make it any way you want. And that's one of the reasons why I think they're so cool is because you can personalize them and make them yours. Um, you can buy one in the store or you can build one yourself. That's what's awesome about them. <sighs> Gotta love this country, huh? <laughs> Anyways, just to fill you in a little bit, like I said, I wanted to go over some specs on the gun and let you know, and we're gonna keep running it and see. I might change the optic. Uh, I know I wanna put some flip-up sights on it. Uh, maybe change the height here so I can co-witness. Um, I wanna get, uh, get rid of the A2 and go with uh, something a little different on the end. But other than that, I think I'm gonna keep the platform just how it is and just see see how she does. And maybe we'll do some torture tests in the future and see how the stainless steel gas tube holds up and all that stuff. And I don't know, maybe we'll try it out. <laughs> Anyways, I'll keep you informed.